This video is on learning to declutter to manifest your dreams. And I'm gonna go into why it's important, what you can expect, and then give you a few steps so you could get started today to bring into your life what you want. My channel is here to help you become the happiest person you know and to manifest your dreams. So if you enjoy the videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get started. Everything around us is made of energy. Our bodies are, and so are the objects around us. So if there's clutter that we're not using, that's stagnant energy. It blocks what you want to come into your life to manifest your dreams. Whether it's more money, a job, a relationship, it blocks it. It doesn't allow the energy in your space to flow freely. And if you walk around your house, you can probably feel that because you have to ask yourself, do you own your clutter or does your clutter own you? Interesting question, isn't it? And usually if we hold on to things, it's, there's three reasons. One, we keep it just in case. Well, you know what? That's very fear-based. If it's something you don't use, why are you holding on to it? So by decluttering, you are going to work through that fear of not having enough. The second, it could be something that somebody gifted you or you inherited and you're holding on to it out of guilt. Again, stagnant energy. Give it to somebody that will enjoy it and use it without that guilt. Again, that's fear-based. And the third, we keep stuff from relationships, whether romantic relationship or just friends relationship, and we hold on to it. Now, there, you may keep some as mementos, but say if it's a breakup and you're keeping something from your ex and you want a new relationship, what does that tell you about that energy? Do you own the clutter or is that clutter owning you? And by clearing things out, you allow fresh energy to come in, to move through your house. Think about if you um, clean your closet and then you have a bunch of empty hangers there. You created space. Well, it's the same by decluttering. You are telling the universe, I am ready. I am ready for what I want in my life. That's very powerful. So how are we gonna go about this decluttering? There's a few steps I want you to do. First, I want you to get your supplies. You'll probably need some tape, some boxes, maybe some markers. So get your supplies. Second, write it in your calendar. Commit to spending an hour, an afternoon, a day. Maybe it's something that you'll work on a half an hour throughout the week. But just pick one area if it's so overwhelming. Pick a closet, a drawer, maybe your office just one area. This week I'm doing photo albums. Just pick one area and etch away at it, but commit to it on your calendar. Third, decide what time of day do you have the most energy that you want to do this. Now, if you're a morning person, maybe that's a great time to tackle it on the weekends, or if you're a night person, do it at night. But again, commit to it. The fourth is to get in the mood, put on some great music, maybe light some candles, say some affirmations, dance around, exercise before, you know, so you get your energy up for you to do it. And then the last is get your boxes. And there's four different types. The first is things you're gonna give away. The second are things you're gonna sell. There's all kinds of online places that you can sell and make some extra money. The third is the things you wanna keep and the fourth is you're not sure. So you know what, put them in a box and keep them there for six months. At the end of six months, write the date on it, at the end of six months, go through it. Do you wanna keep it, do you wanna sell it, or do you wanna give it away? Start these today. Shout out to the universe, I am ready for change, I am ready to manifest my dreams, I am letting go of fear, and I'm allowing the new to come in my life courageously. Write that down. I'd love to hear what you decluttered in the comments and how you felt about it, so let me know. But I'm sending you lots of love and light. Until next time.